Purpose. My name is Gertrude Jirasa Payne of DP Global Ministries and this is day 18 of our 30 days making a conscious effort to decree and declare the fruitfulness and increase of God over our life as he ordained it in Genesis chapter 1 verse 28. And so today I want us to, we'll be looking at mindset this whole week. I came across a quote that I want us to look at and then we're going to look at it and add scripture to it. The quote says that if you are born poor it is not your mistake but if you die poor it is your mistake wow if you were born poor it is not your mistake but if you die poor it is your mistake again I mean it leads me to a very important point important thing that I tell people is excuses 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 each and every one of us has can make a bucket full of excuses as to why we cannot do something basically stop making excuses you have been dealt what you have been dealt with you were born where you were born you were positioned where you were positioned you are where you are stop making excuses what is God saying about you what can God do for you and that is it so you can be born into poverty and that, that is not your mistake but if you die poor it is your mistake let us talk, look take a look at Romans chapter 8 verse 5 to 8 it says that for those who live according to the flesh set their minds on the things of the flesh but those who live according to the spirit set their minds on the things of the spirit for to set the mind on the flesh is death but to set the mind on the spirit is life and peace for the mind that is set on the flesh is hostile to God for it does not submit to God's law indeed it cannot those who are in the flesh cannot please God first of all I just want to make you aware that we are spiritual beings in earthly vessels so we are not children of the flesh we are not fleshly beings we are spiritual beings that have a fleshly connection or we are in a fleshly body and that is our human consciousness to the world is through our flesh but we are spiritual beings and so we must not live by the flesh if you set your mind on the flesh then you are controlled by what you see you're controlled by what you hear you're controlled by the economy you are controlled by the environment you are controlled controlled by what is around you you are controlled by where you were born you were controlled by how you were born you were controlled by how you saw your parenting those are the physical things that begin to control you you allow them to control you because you are in the flesh but if you see yourself as a spiritual being if you see yourself as a spiritual being you begin to step outside of some of these things and begin to see things from a godly perspective so if you are born into poverty you're born into drought you are born into scarcity City and you are somebody that is of the flesh then you begin to see it as finality you begin to see it as a conclusion you begin to see it as a final and you begin to see that it is your portion you begin to see that there isn't a way out because I am not capable yes in the fleshly in the flesh it may seem impossible in the flesh it may seem there is no hope but I want to tell you you are a spiritual being with a spiritual father who knows whose words are yea and amen whose words are final in your life and he is just waiting for you to discover him he is just waiting for you to discover his principles he is waiting for you to discover his laws he is waiting for you to renew your mind he is waiting for you to seek him come to him ask him have a conversation with him pray to him and he will begin to un unveil certain things to him he, the Holy Spirit knows all truth and he's just waiting to have a communication with you but those who live in the spirit live according to the spirit what is it that God is telling you says that those who live in the spirit live according to the spirit and what is what is it what does it mean to live according to the spirit that means I live according to the kingdom of God I live according to the economy of God I live according to the will of God I live according to the word of God according to the kingdom of God what is God telling me what is God spoken over my life what are his laws and his principles saying what mandates are over my life and whose seed I am I am the seed of Abraham I am joint heir with Christ if I go and say I am joint heir with Christ to an economist right now they don't understand it if I go and say that I am a seed of Abraham right now uh, to the Wall Street guy they don't understand it it doesn't mean that I shouldn't understand it it doesn't mean that you that is a child of God should not understand it you are a spiritual being 
and you obey the spiritual kingdom. You operate in spiritual kingdom. You uh, operate in the spiritual economy and not this physical economy. Even though what God will show you in the spiritual will translate to your, your progress and your excellence in the physical, we operate in God's kingdom. That is how God can tell a person so now when everything is drought and dry and that one person will begin to reap a hundredfold harvest and everyone else who lacks revelation will not be able to do it. But because you are of the spirit, you are able to manifest the things that God is spoken over you. If you live in the spirit, you live according to the spirit. You produce after the spirit. You are not moved by what you see, you're not moved by what you hear, you're not moved by, by what you feel, you're not moved by your emotions, you're not moved by touch. But you know that the word of God over your life is final and you are interested and concerned about what God has to say about the matter. And not what the world has to say about the matter, not what anyone has to say about the matter. There are times when I, I really have to check myself because even my own heart is saying something different. But the Holy Spirit is saying completely, something completely different. And even though it's tough, even though there's a wrestling going on between in, your, in you, because the flesh and the spirit continues to wrestle against one another. Whilst the flesh is telling you to do the fleshly thing, your spirit is telling you to do the spiritual thing. And so you constantly have a conflict and a dialogue going on between you. And you will have to sit down and make sure that you choose that which is the will of God. So to set your mind on the flesh is death. To set your mind on the flesh means impossibility, means dead dreams, dead purpose, lack, drought, famine. But to set your mind on the things of the spirit, it, it means life and it means peace, we are told. The mindset of the spirit can receive, the, the mindset of the spirit can receive from God. It receives download directly from God. The mind is on the same frequency with God. That mind is aligned with God. That mind it is in one, it's in sync, it's in unity with God. That mind will manifest the things of God and that mind will increase, it will be fruitful and it will multiply according to the will of God in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So who are you in sync with? Are you in sync with your physical, with your flesh or are you in sync with your spirit? Because we are told to be of the flesh is to be dead. But to be of the spirit is life and peace. So where are you? Who are you in sync with? Are you in sync with the spiritual side of you? Or you are in sync with the physical side of yourself? You've got to choose. This day life and death lies before you choose. So you've got to choose life. You want to be more, you want to multiply, you want to increase, you want your coast to be enlarged, you want to fulfill destiny, you want to become everything that God has set over you. You've got to choose life. Beloved, I'm not asking you to, to seek after things that God has not given to you. I want you to seek after the things that God has given to you. My frustration is not becoming that which God has told us to become. I'm not asking people to become, to go and follow the billionaires and go and follow. If God hasn't called you to be a billionaire, don't bother with that. But I also don't want to see a lot of people dead in the graveyard without fulfilling their destiny or without fulfilling the things that God called them. There are many people that are dead now and gone or there are many people that are just macking time, that are just existing, they are just cruising in life. They're just there. They are dormant in life and they are not making the impact that God has called them to be. And that is what I am talking about. Be impactful. Live life on purpose, live life on point, live life according to the will of God, according to the light, the power of God, according to the promises of God that you carry. Each and every one of us carry something in us. Each and every one of us has been called to something. Each and every one of us will get to a particular height. So become that. Don't focus on where I'm going or focus on where the next person is going and who is attained. What Focus on you. Focus on what God has said about you. Focus on his purpose for you and become it. But for me to become it, I've got to renew my mind for me to become it. I've got to believe in what God has said for me to become it. I've got to submit to the counsel of God. I've got to submit to the word of God, to the power of God. I've got to allow my mind to be renewed by God. 
in the mighty name of Jesus. Beloved, pray over yourself this day that Father, renew my mind. Father, renew my mind. Father, renew my mind. I no longer want to sit here. I no longer want to be comfortable. I no longer want to remain. I don't want to exist. I don't want to just plow through life at my own pace. I want to plow through life according to the pace that you have set for me. I want to navigate my way through life according to your principle, according to your will. I want to be able to come back and on the day of judgment you will say to me thou faithful seven everything that i placed in your hand you did exactly that which i expected from you don't chase after me don't chase after anybody else chase after you what is god's is about you begin to chase it and the way you can begin to change it renew your mind how can i renew my mind go to the holy spirit say god help me to renew my mind and let me begin to take on, understand, manifest everything that you have spoken on me in the mighty name of Jesus. Beloved, tomorrow we are going to look at Joseph in the Bible because Joseph, I think he had a fantastic mindset. And that is why that mindset took him. It took him from his parents to the pit, to Potiphar, to prison, to the palace. He had a consistent mindset. Come, let us explore this over the next two days. God bless you.